My grandparents lost their home. A man defrauded them. He told my grandparents every month, bring your mortgage payments to me. And every month they did. And finally, one day, there was a knock at the door. It was the sheriff. Mr. and Mrs. Harrison, I am so sorry, but the bank has foreclosed on your home and you have to move out. My grandfather, my grandmother always tried to be diligent with their bills. And here, somebody took advantage of them. So we were forced to live on the couches of cousins and aunts for months. And I made a promise. One day you are going to buy your grandparents a house and give them back something that someone stole from them. 2004 came. My grandfather told me, he said, these young boys in the neighborhood, they're shooting up all the time. I can't sit on the porch. And I told myself, now is the time. And I bought my grandparents a house. I didn't tell them about it. And I remember my grandmother and my grandfather in the car. And my grandfather at the time was in a wheelchair because of his diabetes. And we pulled up to the house. And he said, boy, whose house are we going to? And I said, Mr. Bookie, because I called my grandfather Mr. Bookie. I said, Mr. Bookie, this is your house. Tears welled up in his eyes. He said, boy, stop playing with me. And I said, Mr. Bookie, this is your house. When I think about the great moments of my life, that is one of them. That was in August of 2004. November of 2004, my grandfather passed away. But in those few short months, he was so happy. He loved sitting out on that porch. He felt safe and he felt at home. I'm proud to have kept that promise. It's important that we elect the type of people who can keep their promises, the type of person who keeps faith through hard times. That's what the oath of office means. When you put your hand on that Bible and you swear before God to uphold the Constitution, it's a sacred promise, one that I will keep. And that's why I'm running for the United States Senate.